Hey guys, Spartan here with something a little different today. I'll be sharing with you a few tips that I've discovered or have noted of being particularly useful while playing the game that may not be entirely obvious to the community. If you know these things, congratulations, you probably don't need to be looking at guys such as this. Well, let's just jump in. So some people wonder where to place engineer charts during the teleporter event, and the answer is usually on top of the teleporter itself. Yes, you can place them up here without any mobility items, and as long as you do not place them so that there's nothing below them, they will get any bungus fields, and it is quite easy to overlap them still if you have like three or four bunguses. Doing so makes it so that certain enemies will not be able to hurt them. Beetles and beetle guards have absolutely no way to attack them, and mini mushrooms will have a lot of a harder time actually hitting them with their mushroom cloud, which can be very dangerous to turrets, so hey, it works pretty well. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people already knew this one, but the easiest way to deal with Stone Titan, considered one of the hardest of the early bosses, just stay close to it. You literally can't do its beam attack if you're too close, so as long as you don't have drones or turrets or useless friends, then yeah, you'll have absolutely no problem with this. Even its body blocks shots from other enemies, so just stay between him and the enemies, and you'll be completely fine. Now this one is about how Corpse Bloom works. Now. Everyone knows how Corpse Bloom works, doubles your healing, but you're capped at 10% of your HP maximum per second. So you see here, uh, with three med kits, I fall off the level, lose about most of my health, and only get healed about half total. That seems not exactly fantastic. But what if we add a rejuvenation rack to the net mix? Surely it'll just double it again, you know, so maybe I'll get all my health back. Well, the thing about rejuvenation rack is it doubles both the total you get and the numbers itself, so instead of healing like 48 points, I'm healing a lot more. Double, in fact. So this is effectively quadrupling healing, which is really good. You see, without Corpse Bloom, I'm still only healing about 800, even with more HP. So Corpse Bloom isn't actually dead during the late run, so I recommend taking it regardless. And the final tip I have for you today is money laundering, at least that's what I call it. This is basically when you have Gorse Tome Treasures or Shrines of Pain at the end of the level, and just before you disappear you pick them up or hit the shrine, and you can carry forth a lot of money into the next stage. This doesn't seem like much, but when there's a lot of useless money at the end of the stage since you've killed everything at the teleporter event, carrying that over just to get a little extra faster looting is actually really helpful in the long run. And that's about it. This was just kind of a spur of the moment thing while I was busy with other projects, and I could make this really quickly. So yep, hope you enjoyed the video. Later.